Well, we've come down from the North Country to the streets of New York City on a beautiful summer afternoon. And right now I'm walking down 44th Street. I can see over there Kevin Klein is playing in present laughter. And across the street, Bette Midler is in Hello, Dolly. And we are heading right around the corner to a very cool event. From New York City, this is Take Me Through It. I'm B.J. Finnell. We're at Broadway Barks, the 19th annual Broadway Barks, where Broadway stars come together to encourage people to adopt dogs. There are hundreds and hundreds of people squeezed into Schubert Alley, which is a small alley between 8th Avenue and Broadway, between 44th and 45th Streets here on the west side of Manhattan. This is right outside the Schubert Theater. So many organizations have come together to make Broadway Barks a big success. Among them, the ASPCA, the Abandoned Angels Cocker Spaniel Rescue, Inc., AdoptABoxerRescue.com, Animal Haven, Angelica Cats Rescue, ARF, Bark Shelter, that's B-A-R-C Shelter, Bite-A-Wee, Bobby and the Strays, the Humane Society of New York City, Husky House, City Critters, Linda's Cat Assistance. So it's not just about dogs, there are cats here as well. And the day is focused on, on just getting people to either adopt pets right here today or to at least have an awareness that there's so many animals left unloved and abandoned. And, and for those of us who are animal lovers, we find that incomprehensible. And who do I see over there but Bill Berloni, one of the most famous Broadway animal trainers of all time. And I, I knew him way, way, way back in the day when he had this crazy idea of adopting a dog and then training it for the role of Sandy in a brand new musical that was being tried out at the Goodspeed Opera House in East Haddam, Connecticut. The name of that musical was Annie, which of course went on to great Broadway and movie fame. Hey, Bill. Hey, how you doing? You got you got a minute? Great to see you again. Oh, okay. all right. So I'm with Bill Berloni, and tell me all about. Uh, Broadway Barks. Well, Broadway Barks is an event that was started by Bernadette Peters and Mary Tyler Moore close to 18, 19 years ago. And I've been coming every year to support this cause because it's Broadway meeting dogs and what's better than that? And, and you're a perfect example of that through your history of success of training animals for Broadway shows. Going back to Annie at the Goodspeed Opera House all those years ago when you and I first knew each other, we won't say how long ago it was, but most of these dogs, if not all of them, you have adopted them. Well, yes, all the dogs that I train are rescues, and it's somewhere up in the 200 range, personally, myself, which is crazy to say. But, um, yeah, no, they've changed my life for the better, that's for sure. And what does that say to people who, who are coming here or anybody anywhere in the country who's considering adopting an animal from a shelter? Well, people think I have some special gift or some magic, you know, to make them into stars. But I tell people they were stars before I met them, and you could have adopted that Sandy before I did and could have had that dog in your home. So that's why I encourage people to go, because they're not all damaged. They're just waiting for the right home. And what's the goal of today's event? Today's goal is, you know, Bernadette wants to bring everybody together, all the shelters, in one place so that people can see all the wonderful animals that need homes. And so there's no rivalry here between the shelters. Just let's all find them homes. All right. Great. Thanks, Bill. Did you adopt him? Are you adopting him or are you just holding him? No, it's my friend. Oh, so. What a sweet boy. He's so soft. Yeah. Bill Berloni mentioned that Broadway Barks was founded 19 years ago by Bernadette Peters and Mary Tyler Moore. Mary died in January, so this year's Broadway Barks was dedicated to her memory, and it included this musical tribute.
What a great number. If you're of a certain age, you certainly remember that song. Bernadette later talked about her friend Mary Tyler Moore and why Mary felt so deeply about rescue animals. She loved all animals. She was a great animal advocate, starting from when she was a little girl and she saw a man beating a dog with a stick and she dropped her school books, you know, down and started going over and started beating the man. Joining Bernadette Peters as co-host of this year's Broadway Barks, her co-star from the Netflix hit Mozart in the Jungle and two-time Tony Award winner Malcolm McDowell. Here, with these dogs right here, you can actually do something and, and see the results. And I think people really, they respond to that. You going to take that one home with you? Um, uh, yes, I, I wonder how the hotel will feel about this. Maybe I could hide it in the closet. <laughs> Try to say to me. <laughs> you want to come over here and say hello? No? She's a spaniel mix. Okay, what's her name? Do you know her name? Her name, name is it? Josie. She's a year old and she is originally from Alabama. Wow, now how did she make her way from Alabama up here to Manhattan? We get a lot of dogs from the south um, because they don't have a strict uh, spay and neuter law. So we we get dogs from all over, but especially from the south and from other um, kill shelters. She's from Bidoui, which is the first um, non-no-kill shelter in the Manhattan, New York City. We've got we're here with um, Josie and three other adoptable dogs, with a lot of other dogs at our shelter, both in Manhattan as well as in Long Island. Has this been a successful event for you in the past? Yes, last year, um, Gloria and Emilio and Stefan adopted two of our dogs last year, so I would call it quite successful. <laughs> That's great. Good luck today. Thank you. I'll see you there, Josie. <laughs> what a sweet girl. As Broadway Barks comes to a close with dozens of dogs and cats having found adoptive homes, we say so long from New York City. Many thanks to Bill Berloni and his godchild and my niece, Jennifer Del Biondo. J.D., if you hadn't texted me about the Broadway Barks, I never would have made it here this afternoon. Uh, thanks for listening, downloading, and subscribing to Take Me Through It, which, as you already know, is a production of Fidel Communications, LLC. Bernadette Peters and the Broadway Kids take us home. It was a musical tribute to Mary Tyler Moore, but there's also a message here for each dog and cat adopted today and for every rescue animal out there waiting for a home. information on Broadway Barks, please visit broadwaybarks.com.